Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I organized my small bathroom space and kind of give you guys like a mini tour of the space and everything. Setting up this bathroom space was kind of like a fun challenge for me. If you guys saw my closet tour video, you guys would have seen how I set up and organized all of that. Um, I'm basically working with about like a quarter of the space that I had in my previous living space. So it's kind of a fun challenge to figure out how I can take all of the things that I own and find a way to organize them into a smaller space. Kind of helps me to decide what I truly need and what I didn't. I try to keep the things that I own pretty minimal. That's just easier for me to keep track of everything. That way I don't have like tons and tons of stuff that I don't need. So trying to organize all of my stuff into a smaller space really helped me figure out what I should be keeping and the things that I needed to get rid of. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you guys want to see more minimalist kind of videos and organizational kind of things, comment down below and let me know exactly what you guys want to see and I can make those videos for you guys. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into the tour and how I have organized everything. All right, so this is a basic overview of my bathroom. So we have the sink, mirror, um, medicine cabinet here. And then when you turn this way, this is where we have the shower, the towel rack, toilet, all of those kinds of basic things. All right, so starting behind the door for um, extra towel space, I guess you could say. I just have this clear hook hanging up here. I have my little turby twist for when I wash my hair hanging up here. And then I also just have this silk robe from Victoria's Secret, but sometimes if I have um, extra towels or something that I need to dry, I can hang them up there. That way they're out of the way since I do only have one towel rack in here. All right, so then on this wall, we obviously just have the one single towel rack. The towel is from Target, I want to say. Actually, I don't know. These are these are my mom's towels. I don't know the brand of this one. Then right above it, I just have the sign from the Target dollar section. It just says, hey there, and I have it stuck on like a push pin. It's not like super solid on the wall, but I thought it was super cute right above the towel. So another way that I maximized my space in here is by adding a rounded towel bar, or not towel bar, rounded shower curtain rod up there. It really does give you that extra few um, inches in the shower when you're just, you know, soaping, sudsing up. But it is really nice rather than just having the straight across rod, it just gives you a little bit of extra space. Another thing that I have here in my bathroom, we do have pretty hard water in the new city that I live in. So this is a water shower head filter. Um, that is from Home Depot and then I just have like a little extension rod for my um, shower head and then like a rainfall kind of shower head. It's the water pick one so it's a pretty good shower head but I love it because my, my shower head um, spot is pretty high up on the wall so I added the little extension on there so I could get like the true rainfall feeling when I shower and I love it. So I only have one single window. In this bathroom, it doesn't open or anything, so, uh, you know, it's just for natural lighting in here. Um, but I take advantage of this little ledge that I have up here, and I just have this little hanging plant from Ikea in, like, a random little pot that I had from um, an orchid from, like, forever ago. But I just love the little detail that it adds right over there. So, since I do have a window right here, I didn't want to get the like an over the toilet storage for it since it, there's really not that much space and it would kind of cover up the window. So what I'll eventually probably do is add a shelf right here. I just need to find one that is the right length. So that is a work in progress. But for now, I just have this little basket above my toilet with just like my essentials. So we have obviously some tampons in here. Those are some usual go-tos during that time of month. We have some poopery, um, and then I just have some Epsom salt because I love to take baths and soak in that, especially when I have super sore muscles. And then moving over to the toilet section, one thing that I love doing is kind of hiding all of my cleaning products back here behind my toilet. I don't have a lot of storage, as you guys can see, this is the only section of storage that I have for my actual bathroom. I don't want all of my chemical cleaning products 
with all of like my makeup and everything else that's in there. So I kind of just hide it underneath the toilet and it works because um, then you can't really see it. I mean, obviously it's just me in here, so it's not a big deal, but it kind of hides it out of the way. And then for toilet paper storage, I just have this little holder thing from probably like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, something like that. Super, super old, but it's a way to store all of the toilet paper since I don't have anywhere else to really store it. And then this trash can over here is from Target. It's just like a nice little wicker kind of trash bin. Um, and then my favorite thing, this squatty potty. This is like the bamboo one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Love it. Highly recommend getting one if you guys do not have one. They're fantastic. All right, so then since the space is so small over here, I have a really tiny bath mat on that section. And then I have the bigger one laid out right here in front of my mirror. These bath mats are from Home Goods. Um, and then the shower curtain rod is from Target. And the actual shower curtain itself is from Home Goods. It's just like a really nice kind of beige color but it matches with like the overall vibe of the bathroom. And then I don't have too much walking space in here, as you guys can see. Um, so I just have my scale right there. This one is from Amazon. I love it. It measures pretty much everything that you could need. So I keep that there. I find that it's not really in my way. That's like the only spot that I could put it. Otherwise I'd have to like hide it like next to that or something, but I don't know. It doesn't bother me. So I just leave it there. All right. So now moving on to my other storage and all of this stuff. So as you can see, I obviously don't have a lot of counter space. So I made the best use possible that I could of my counter space. I picked up these acrylic bins from the container store. So this one, these separate. So this is just a flat one right here. And then it's got two taller um, separated organizers up here for all of this stuff. So I basically just keep makeup brushes and like essentials and such in here. Um, and then this is like all of my skincare for my skincare routine every night. And then I love this because it's a little drawer that you pull out. This is basically where I store all of my everyday makeup. It's a perfect little spot for it, easy to grab, go to, it all works out. So then up here I just have this candle. We've got um, some hand soap and then my Google Home, a crystal and then one thing that I love doing to hide cords in my bathroom is taking a vase like this that's pretty hollow, putting the flowers in and kind of hiding all of the excess cord in here so that way it's not just like everywhere all over your counter. It's kind of just like hidden in there and it's actually really nice because then nobody really sees it. I mean, sometimes it falls out. I mean, honestly, it's just me in here, but these are my tips for you guys, especially for like... I don't know, a guest bathroom or something, if you have like cords and stuff like that, it's so easy to just hide them in a vase. This vase is from Target. These are from Target. And then I also have my coffee I need to finish. It's like 10 a.m. on Sunday right now. So this is my other little hack that I've been doing forever in my bathroom. Um, so this is where I charge my Apple Watch. Reminds me to put it on every single morning. Um, but then inside here is where I keep all of my like... Um, floss picks and stuff like that. This is just a, whoops, this is just a little container from the dollar section at Target that I got forever ago. But you can always find cute stuff if you're looking for um, a way to like store stuff. You could put like Q-tips in here or cotton rounds or cotton pads, stuff like that, um, that like you would use essentially, but you want stored out of the way and not like, you know, displayed on your counter. So, all right. Let's move on to my medicine cabinet. It's kind of a bit of a mess, but the mess works for me. Basically just all of my go-to essentials, medicines, stuff like that, that I keep in here. I've just kind of organized it based on how tall certain things are and the medicines that I have, my mouthwash, my toothpaste stuff. I just keep in this little container. I think this is from Target. Um, and then, you know, other basic essentials, but just organize it basically to how you would use it, especially if it's like your everyday bathroom storage like mine. Um, mine just works perfectly for me. So I've taken advantage of that perfectly. All right, now let's move on to the good stuff. So this is just one giant cabinet 
And when I first moved in here, I was like, you know, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with all of my stuff. And I found a perfect storage solution to maximize the space that I have, and I love it. All right, so these two clear bins that I have stacked on top of each other on both sides over here, those are from the container store. Um, I love them because they slide into place um, and then just kind of like lock and stay there. And then underneath those, I just have two, three drawer organizers. Those are from Target. Overall, I'd say I'd spent like, I think that was 10, 10. And then I want to say each of these was probably 10 bucks. So 40, 50, I guess 60 bucks on storage, which I mean, isn't really that bad. <laughs> Like for me personally, that, that was a good amount for me to spend on storage and stuff. So that is how I decided to organize underneath here. So let me just go ahead and show you guys, like I'll go through how I pretty much organize all this. The sink and like the pipes and stuff come out in like such a weird way that I couldn't find a way to really organize it any other way. And this honestly works out perfectly for me personally. Um, so down here, I just have this little bin from Ikea and inside of it, I keep um, my cleaning spray. This is like my favorite stuff ever. This is from Method. It's their all purpose lavender one. It smells amazing. So I keep that pretty much just hanging out in there. And then I have some extra little travel bags. These are from Glossier. When you order stuff, you can get like little bags like that. Um, and then I have all of my self tan stuff kind of all lined up down here. That way it's all in like one spot. I have um, a tanning mitt that I just used and then I will usually keep my extra tanning mitts over here on the side, kind of take advantage of like when I'm not using anything. Um, so I store it over there. So that is how I organize that little section. And then way back there, I have like all of my extras and like guest soaps and stuff. Um, so if I have like guests come over and they just need like regular shampoo and conditioner, not like purple conditioner and shampoo, I have it basically all hidden back there. And then on this side behind all of this stuff is where I keep all of like my travel bags and stuff. Um, so it's like hidden back there. Like I know it's back there. I don't reach for them too often, honestly, like ever. <laughs> so. I just took advantage of all the space that's kind of back there. If you can see, like these don't go all the way back, obviously. So you can, you know, store stuff back there that you don't reach for quite often. So this first bin up here, this is like my go-to bin. This is all of my hair care stuff. So this is stuff I'm reaching for quite frequently. So I pretty much just have this little basket from, I want to say home goods, um, with all of my hair stuff, dry shampoo, conditioner, leave-in stuff, all of that kind of stuff, my brushes. And then um, in here, I also have like my self tan face brush. I have my perfumes. And then back there, I have like all of my extra, extra makeup brushes, ones that I don't reach for too often. They're mostly like eyeshadow brushes, which I don't really do my eyeshadow too much. Um, and then, so then moving down, this is just like my extras section. So like extra perfume that I have extra loofahs for my shower because you swap those out, um, extra cotton rounds, extra Tide pen, um, extra skincare stuff that doesn't fit up there on my counter. Um, and then in here I just keep um, my Q-tips, kind of like excess stuff, my extra um, contacts. And then in here is like my nail polish section and like some medicine stuff like that, um, extra, I don't know, <laughs> this is kind of random, but mostly like all of my nail polish stuff hangs out in there. Then in this bottom drawer right here, this is just where I keep all of my extras and stuff, um, like pop drops, extra toothpaste. This one is my all-time favorite. So many people ask how I keep my teeth so white, just brush my teeth twice a day with this stuff. Love it, it's the Colgate Optic White stuff. And then I just have some sun bum stuff. It's obviously not summer, so I'm not really needing that stuff right now. Um, and then I keep all of my extra tinkle razors in here. If you guys have never seen these, don't know what these are, they basically, you can like shave your face with them, shave off all of your peach fuzz, and then your makeup, your moisturizers and stuff going so much smoother. So I just have like 
a nice little collection of them in there. Um, extra lighter for my candle. And then moving on to this side, this is how I store all of my hair tools. So I have my hair dryer just kind of hanging with the back end going that way, my straightener, and then my two different curler curling wands, like different sizes and stuff back there. And then in this bin right here, this is just where I have extra like, cotton rounds. This is where I'll usually grab them out of. Um, so then when I run out in here, I just, you know, take these and fill them up in here. Um, I have extra medicine and stuff that I'm not reaching for as often. And then I have like my extra makeup palettes that I don't really reach for too often back there. All right. And then this section right here is basically what I have labeled my travel section. So this is all of like my travel size products. Um, um, extra toothbrushes for travel, um, travel size cleansers, um, my extra pair of glasses, basically just anything that I would need to travel or like stay the night somewhere, I can just grab out of this section for all of the stuff that I need. All right. And then in this section, this is where I have like all of my extra skincare and masks, moisturizers, stuff like that. Um, I have an extra deodorant, my favorite Glam Glow mask literally ever. That's basically where I keep a lot of my extras and stuff just hanging out in there. And then over here on the side, I just have my um, straightener travel bag hanging out there because I mean, I don't really have anything to put there. And then in this one, this is where I have like my extra lip products. I really don't have too many. Um, and then more lip stuff. This is kind of like my extra makeup section in here for things that I don't reach for too often but still need sometimes. Um, so yeah, that is in there. This clear little acrylic organizer I want to say is from Target. And then this very bottom drawer is where I will keep like all of my extra products. So I have um, this extra mitt from Loving Tan. Um, I just bought more of the BioClarity cleanser because the one in my shower is completely out. I love this cleanser. This is honestly like my favorite ever. Um, I have extra deodorant again, an extra um, mask, body stuff, my favorite self-tan stuff for your face. I don't know why it's not like totally focusing. My camera's on autofocus, but it like won't focus on this stuff. Um, this Kula self-tan stuff's amazing. I love it. Um, and then just extra toothpaste, sunscreen, makeup spray. It's like half a quarter of the way used. I have more on my um, on my counter up there. Um, more of the Floralux stuff because the one that I have up there is almost all out. So that's kind of how I organize and like store everything overall. <laughs> Make sure that fits back in there. Um, so yeah, that's just, you know, it works out for me. I love it. It's like the perfect little way to organize and make the most use of this tall, wide open cabinet. All right, so that is pretty much how I organized my entire bathroom. I feel like I made the best use of the space possible. Um, I did use Pinterest as inspiration, so if you guys are trying to figure out how to organize something, definitely turn to Pinterest. There's literally so many different forms of inspiration, ways to organize certain things, like things that I didn't even think of. That's exactly how I came up with this idea. I saw a bunch of Pinterest pins with like bins and stuff underneath people's sinks, and I was like, you know what? I probably can't get those exact bins that they have, but I found a way to do it all under $70, so it all worked out. I will go ahead and try to link everything um, storage-wise in the video that you guys saw down below if I can find it, and if you guys have any other video requests or anything that you guys want to see, um, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.